Hello! Today, I'm going to tell you about executing JavaScript from the .NET side using CephSharp. First, we need to create and configure WPF solution with CephSharp. We need to create a project, then add the CephSharp WPF Nugget package and create the x64 or x86 configuration for it. You can find detailed instructions in the previous tutorials. Check out the links under this video. Now we'll see how to mark up the main window. Let's add the XML namespace for the CephSharp WPF library in the main window XAML. Then we need to mark up the root grid in order to place the browser component, the script text box, and the execution button. So let's add two columns and two rows to the root grid. After that, create the Chromium web browser, define its name and the initial URL. Also, we need to define its location in the root grid. Create a text box which will contain the JavaScript we are going to execute, set its name and location. Create the button which will execute the written JavaScript and set its name, location, and content. The last step is implementing the main window behavior. Create the click handler for the button. Mark the execute JavaScript btn click method as async. Check that the browser can execute the JavaScript and that the text box is not empty. Create the variable which will contain the JavaScript evaluation result. Call the browser evaluate script async method and pass the text box content into the method argument. Check that the result property of the response variable is not null. And now call the message box show method to display the evaluated JavaScript result. Now we are ready to build and launch the application. So build and launch your project. Thanks for watching.